I didn't want to, I didn't want to disobey the law. But there's a law, God has a moral law that we must all comply to. That is love thy neighbor. First at five tonight, what happens when that love violates a city ordinance? Well, a pastor in Gastonia says that he's helped give homeless people in the city a place to eat and live. But city officials now are punishing his church for code violations. Thanks for joining us at five. I'm Alicia Barnes. And I'm Morgan Francis. The battle has resulted in close to $60,000 in fines for the ministry, but it's not deterring them from their mission. Queen City News reporter Will Lewis is live in Gastonia. And Will, the pastor told you that he feels like city government is trying to choke out his ministry. He sure does, Morgan. And he says that the ministry is spending every penny to help feed the growing homeless population here in Gastonia. That pastor says he feels like the city should be working with him, but instead the fines continue to mount up. Ring the bell, Pastor. It's one of the few places in Gastonia where a person living on the streets can get a meal every day. Moses Colbert runs the Faith, Hope, and Love Community Enrichment Ministries. Colbert helping the unhoused since 2003. They are telling me that I'm doing everything wrong and there's no wrong way or no right way to help people. The property on North Oakland Street where this meal is taking place is also generating a lot of city code violations. Gastonia code inspectors have cited the pasture for two trailers on the property without proper zoning, trash on the property, and an RV on the property which has been moved. When they said that we have to have the, um, the trailers have to be up the code, they wouldn't even let us get that far with it. They just start finding us. We applied for, all of the, uh, for, for, uh, for everything, but they never let it go through. So far, the fines total close to $60,000. A city spokesperson sent us a copy of the violations, which includes having multiple buildings on the property. In a written statement, the spokesperson said Mr. Colbert is free to feed the homeless and conduct classes during daylight hours, but he is not allowed to provide overnight accommodations, which would constitute a shelter. Colbert thinks there are other plans the public is not privy to, like the property being two blocks away from other government offices. This land is so valuable to them. When they get rid of us, and they, that's what they're trying to do, they're going to use this for something else. Now the community is getting involved. There are two rallies scheduled to bring attention to the homelessness problem here in Gastonia over the next couple of weeks. Now Colbert and the city both say they are meeting to try and come up with a solution. And Colbert tells me if he runs out of money because he's paying all these fines, God will provide a way to keep this ministry going. We're live in Gastonia. Will Lewis, Queen City News.